we'll go to Louis Colazzo. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Louis Colazzo, 34 and 5 with 17 KOs of Brooklyn, New York. Former WBA welterweight champion, a great competitor around boxing as long as as a long time, a long time rather. Back-to-back -back wins at the Barclays Center, following by his most recent win in San Antonio, Fox Sports One in September. Um, ready to make his case for a world title in 2014. So here we are, closing out this year, going into 2014, and who fight? Whoever fights now the last maybe two or three fights of the year, uh, making a statement to have that roll right into 2014, and this is the opportunity. So again, uh, let, me, uh, let me introduce Calanzo to the podium. Good afternoon, everybody, media. Um, first off, I want to thank God for Give me the opportunity to be here today. I'm humble, humbled for the opportunity to fight, be fighting Victor Ortiz. I've been waiting for, for a fight like this quite some time. Uh, I want to thank Fox Sports 1 as well, Golden Boy Promotions, and my team. Uh, my trainers, Norma Lorick, Woody Vargas, and my manager, Bosin Marango. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here either because when the, when the town was rough, they were there next to me, but um, now the, the, the light is here, and uh, we're going to shine January 30th. I know uh, Victor Ortiz is a great fighter. You know, a lot of people criticize him from the, his previous his previous fights with um, Josecito, with him stopping with a broken jaw, with the uh, um, Madonna fight, him stopping. But um, those fights are in the past, and uh, sometimes, our losses don't define who we are. It, it doesn't define uh, the person we can be today. It's up to us to push ourselves through that. You know, um, I don't know what's his plan January 30th, but I know what my plan is to come out with that W. And um, I'm training hard, I hope he's training hard, because I want to give the fans what they want, an exciting fight. Because every time I come out, that's what I do. I give the fans what they want, excitement. And um, I like the way they call it, they call it the Super Brawl, because it's the week of the Super Bowl. And, um, oof, Brooklyn is going to be crazy here in Brooklyn, at the Barclays Center. And uh, I can't wait, the fans are going to be excited and happy for, for the outcome. And uh, the people that have been doubting me, keep doubting me. The people that have been hating on me, keep hating, because after this one you're going to be hating again. And um, for all my supporters, thank you so much through the support. And um, January 30th, Vic, be ready, baby. You're going down. <laughs> Peace. Now, now, you see, you see, I got to be caught in the middle of that stuff. You ain't going to, then we talking, this, we talking like, <laughs> I'm not going to give it up because, you know, we ain't going to like, Yo, he said you was the worst dancer, man, he ever seen. <laughs> no, I'm you gonna take that back. Oh, bro, you take that back. <laughs> Listen, I, so he said, I said, I said, I said, man, I'm just I'm just saying, man, you know, just put on a great fight. We closing out the year. And he started bringing up dancing. Now uh, again. I've been working on my pasta double, dog. He's been working on it, bro. He's been working on it. But but man said he ain't gonna be dancing in the ring, you know what I mean? Only throwing punches. So again, I don't want to make it seem like that I'm an instigator, uh, but when I see guys that see me the day before, and then they get here on the podium, and they say everything else nice, but I'm telling you behind the scenes, y'all better get y'all tickets quick, because nobody wants to hear, even myself with two left feet, that I can't dance. Most everybody believe they can dance and sing, especially in the shower. So, in saying that, let me introduce this contender, this man, this respected person that I've got to know when he came into Golden Boy's promotion and uh, had some doubts and people doubted him and he came back but he never gave up. See that's the key. He never gave up. And so when I look at that in a guy, I know that you know, after taking some thought and some time, 
and you come back to this business, the hurt business, as one great fighter mentioned years ago, uh, you, you have to at least give him an opportunity to do what he believes he can do. And some would say think he can do. So in saying that, let me introduce Dancing with the Star, represent boxers and other people that believe they can't do it because of whatever reason, I know I'm not going to try. Victor Ortiz. Uh, Barclay Center, I'm back in the ring finally. It's been a bit. Uh, I had this really painful thing happen in the wild that had no video. Anyways, uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody for being here today. Uh, first off and foremost, and man, um, this is actually one of those moments where you sit back and and at this point in time, everybody, my thing is they started counting me out already, so I was like, all right, there we go, cool. But at the same time, I know that, that Luis is no joke. He's actually, in my eyes, the first person to defeat Berto. So that stands in the way of who really defeated Berto first. <laughs> you know, so we're for a bang, man. Uh, but at the same time, let me just rewind a little bit. I got to say... Um, Thank you for, to Golden Boy and just everybody for always having my back and just, you know, being there. Um, it's been a rough year and some that I've been out of the ring. Um, I was out recovering, but while I was doing that, I was trying to take over the world, man. I was, uh, you know, doing this dancing with the stars and don't be putting down my dancing again, dog. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> we got time. Not now. Do I got to stay here or what? Come on, dog. <laughs> That's the you. I'm totally joking. Um, so, yeah, my coaches actually could not make it today, so we have David Rodella here with me. Um, so thank you, David. Um, come here. Just say, say what's up, man. <laughs> That's David Rodella. He's a great friend of mine. You know, so, so what happens is this. Uh, David gets a phone call in the morning. He says, you need to go to New York with Victor. And he says, uh, what's the big deal? Well, David, uh, we have a fighter that's fighting tonight, and I told Victor I couldn't make it, so Coach Smith got snowed in in Arkansas, so he can't make it as well. Oh, oh uh, where do I go? Like, right now. Uh, okay, he shows up to the airport with socks and a pair of shorts in his backpack. And that's it. So I said, so what are you, you going to wear for the press conference? He says, uh, I, I, just, uh, I just came to accompany you, bro. I said... No, but you, you go to the press conference with me. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah we'll, do, we'll, we'll take care of it when we get to New York. So, uh, yeah, I love this guy. Anyways, um, on top of that, with all that said and done, I just want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in, watching Dancing with the Stars. It's a big movie coming out. Um, Expendables 3. But most importantly, first and foremost, the battle between Louis and myself. You know, uh, This man, I take nothing from him. I don't take him for granted. He's, uh, he's an animal. As, as they call him, you know, uh, I know he's, he's no joke, and, um, you know, don't, don't miss it, you know, uh, two warriors, and we don't give up, I know I have, um, and being counted out, that's, uh, that's prime for me, so thank you all for counting me out, I love it, I mean, if you do it for Dancing with the Stars, I can understand it, but come on, <laughs> alright guys, uh, thank you, I could talk all day, but I did that to the people uh, sitting next to an airplane yesterday, <laughs> I don't think they appreciate that too much, but uh, so thank you. Oh yeah, one more thing. Mo, that's the WBC world, uh, world champ right there. She's for the female, so love you, girl. Thank you for coming out. Okay. Now, no, I'm not done because he really he told me he didn't really like you. I, I just had to say, I mean, but, but listen, it's good, y'all talk nice now. But I'm telling you, get ready, get ready for next year. Get the tickets early. I'm gonna see a good fight, because as far as I'm concerned, it's a crossword fight. Victor know, he said to y'all, some, not all, count him out, right? So I know the man Tyler, he's coming in, and he wants to prove that he needs to be, be here and want to be a world champion. So thanks y'all for coming. And, uh,